My digital escape was once a haven for the emo kids of the mid 2010s, between 2014 and 2016 at least. And while some of the members are still active, the channel and its legacy have very much been tarnished from what came out afterwards, including an attempted reboot which was very poorly received. This is the rise and fall of my digital escape. <laughs> I want to start out by saying that I have made videos about specific members and where they are now, those being Johnny Gilbert, Ali Storam and most recently Kyle David Hall, but this is more of a general view of the whole group. My Digital Escape was, according to Wikitubia, created by Brian Stiles and Johnny Gilbert and they started working on it in December of 2013, along with Ali Storam, Kyle David Hall and Jordan Sweeto. Although this isn't entirely true, despite there being no reference for this, the first video on the channel actually shows who the members were, and while the five aforementioned creators were a part of it, it also featured two other creators, Austin Jones and Alex Ramos. Bear in mind this was in 2014, and although they've been removed, Austin Jones definitely did participate, which can be seen from a screenshot on the Wayback Machine. In fact, there's one video of his that can even be played. It's on screen right now. And although at times I re-upload lost videos of who I talk about, this is not one of those times. By May of 2015, his playlist was gone from the channel. In this time, they recruited a new member, Jaden Whale, so they still had six. June 20th saw so well, Hey There I'm Chan and join My Digital Escape, and that's a short history of who was a part of the channel. But let's talk more about the members and their YouTube presence beforehand. <laughs> This section is going to focus on the main seven members, mainly because I don't want to talk about Austin Jones any more than I have to, nor Alex Ramos. Also, all of this information is according to the Wayback Machine, saves closest to the start date of my digital escape. Brian Stars was already creating content with Johnny at this time, although Brian was most known for his interviews. The save closest to the first save of my digital escape shows Brian at just over 600,000 subscribers. Speaking of Johnny, he was sitting at just over 190,000 subscribers. Subscribers. He'd been doing the aforementioned challenge videos and mixed this with Q&As. He had already gotten himself an audience. Alex Dorame had around 100,000 subscribers at the start of My Digital Escape and like Johnny she was doing Q&As and challenges. Jordan Sweeto had just under 180,000 subscribers and was doing music, some gaming videos and even some vlogs. Kyle had the smallest channel when My Digital Escape started with under 40k. He started doing tech reviews but prior to MDE he had just started to shift his content more into the emo space. Jaden had just over 600,000 subscribers around the time My Digital Escape started, having also done music and vlogs. Hey There I'm Chan had close to 150,000 subscribers prior to joining, and she made more story time type videos and hair related videos. So we have a bunch of decently sized creators coming together to make a collab channel. What could possibly go wrong? <laughs> Honestly, the channel was pretty successful numbers wise. Within four months of the first video, they had already passed 100,000 subscribers and potentially close to a million views. Unfortunately, the about section is an archive, so it can't be confirmed, but there were two videos with over 100,000 views by then. Austin's departure didn't stop the momentum of the channel at all. In fact, each new member seemed to propel the channel even further. Even in hindsight, it's pretty obvious Brian had a good business mind, at least in the sense that everyone seemed to bring something to the table. Table. Brian and Johnny's chemistry on camera was undeniable and was definitely a good basis for a collab channel. The first video on the channel outside of the intro is a three person collab with the aforementioned Johnny and Brian and also Kyle David Hall. Although in saying that, outside of there being sometimes multiple members in videos at once, largely Brian and Johnny and occasionally Kyle, most of the videos were done like a normal collab channel. They will post videos on their select days and sometimes they'd have themes for the week. Like one week they did multiple Draw My Lifes. June of 2015 saw what I will dub 5 of 7 week, although there's only two videos on the channel with the five of them, it was the most of them that had been together for a single video up until then. From then on it was becoming more common to see multiple members in a single video, which all culminated in 7 of 7 week, where everyone filmed together. According to Hey There I'm Shannon, this was basically the beginning of the end for the channel. <laughs> Although to my knowledge he was never a member, there's a strange amount of solo social repose videos, which may seem obscure but it'll make sense shortly. 
Speaking of problem 8 people featured on the channel, there was also more than one video with Drake Stiffer who I've also covered and even Diego Saws made an appearance. He was Hey There I'm Channel's partner at the time as far as I know, which is also important for something I'm about to talk about. Although it's important to note that this was before things had come out about any of the three people mentioned. Multiple members have spoken about the behind the scenes of my digital escape since it ended in 2016. I'll talk about the ending but I want to give some context first because Hey There I'm Channel has made two videos and make everything that is mentioned already seem a lot darker than it appeared. Starting with the video My Digital Escape 2.0, which will be linked below by the way. To even join the My Digital Escape channel, she had to join Brian's management group, which is logical. She states that as soon as 7 of 7 weeks started, when everyone had gotten together for the first time, that she realised everyone was trapped, scared and unhappy, going as far to say that it felt like a factory. She also alleges that they had no control over what they made topic wise either and that it was all run by Brian. That he even chose who did the videos together and her videos with Alex were done because that was what was successful on the channel. She also states that there was queer baiting and hypersexualized content and they even did a thing called Depression Day, basically exploiting mental health for money and clicks. Jordan raised an issue with the hypersexualized content during 7 of 7 week. No one was actually okay with it but was scared to speak up because they were scared, I imagine based off what Shannon says in her video. Despite a discussion about it all at the time, the consensus from Brian was that if it ain't broke, don't fix it. They then went on the My Digital Escape tour, although they were unprepared. Shannon makes a good point of how they're supposed to tour when they don't all have anything they can perform. I mean, a few of them were musicians at the time, but if you're going to sell a tour, you're there to see everyone. It just creates unnecessary pressure. She goes on to explain that there were money issues that she doesn't elaborate on for legal reasons. And as soon as the tour ended, everyone got kicked out of My Digital Escape. The Brian Stars was the reason that the channel fell apart, in part due to greed, I imagine. Shannon then talks about the title of her video, Why Did You Escape 2.0, which may be confusing to you, but I'll do my best to break it down. The video was made as a response to Brian Stars attempting to relaunch the channel with new members, MDE 2.0 as it was put. Shannon wasn't the only member who spoke out about MDE 2.0, they attempted to launch it on the MDE channel after firing everyone else. And I agree with Shannon when she said that they're only really doing it to write off the success of the original My Digital Escape. Going to the channel now is quite confusing. Alex or Aim is shown in the Welcome to My Digital Escape video, although the first publicly available video on the channel with her in it is from 7 months later, the Chubby Bunny Challenge. Although she isn't the only member without a playlist on the channel's front page, with only 3 of the 7 members having playlists still. There are a whole bunch of private slash deleted videos from the My Digital Escape days, and I honestly have no idea. Why. At the time, my digital escape 2.0 faced a bunch of backlash and it never ended up getting off the ground, but who was allegedly going to be a part of it? I don't think it was ever exactly confirmed, but Danny Edge mentioned that he was going to be a part of it. After seeing the videos, he decided against it. According to the Johnny Green, other members were allegedly going to be Diego Saws, Eugenio Cooney, and Chris Offling, and of course, Brian Stars. And there was definitely speculation about social repose, but he said that he wasn't. In 2020, Shannon released a video which in part spoke about Brian Stars, which although it wasn't exactly to do with My Digital Escape, it spoke more about Brian's character, which I think is also an important part of this section. I previously mentioned this same video in another video I did about Sebastian Memes, because of Brian's pattern of trying to silence people. The majority of the video talks about Diego Swords, who I mentioned previously, and about the relationship Shannon had with him. Someone suggested that I dedicate an entire video to Diego, which I am currently on the fence about, because there are a few videos already detailing his behaviour even outside of Shannon's video, and I don't know what I could add to the conversation. Around 26 minutes into the video, Shannon starts to talk about Brian Stars, who was the manager at the time her and Diego broke up. Some words have been said online by that point about the relationship, with Shannon stating that Brian had told her to stop bad-mouthing Diego online and exposing him. The Brian even wrote her a statement to post about the situation at the time, but Brian's involvement doesn't stop there, because Diego went on to write a similar statement, because it turns out he was also managed by Brian. Through all the things that Shannon went through with Diego and the breakup, Brian was managing both of them, essentially playing both sides and trying to create an online illusion that everything was actually okay, even though it obviously wasn't, because if one of them is facing backlash, then Brian loses out. 
right? Shannon even says that Austin was allegedly signed to the same label even through his trial that he lost. That at least two instances where it could be taken that Brian was more worried about who he was managing and how they would be perceived online and how that would affect his income rather than actually caring about the people involved. It's worth noting that multiple members of My Digital Escape went on to create another collab channel called Our World Away with five of the seven MDE members joining Our World Away with the addition of Jake Bateman with the only two missing being Hey there, I'm Shannon and Brian. Some members of the alleged MDE 2.0 went on to create their own collab channel, by the way. How World well Away lasted just over six months before going on hiatus and never returning. It did have some of its own issues, which are briefly explored in my previous video about Kyle David Hall. But let's get back on topic. My Digital Escape. Where are they now? <laughs> Let's start with Brian Stars. We've spoken a lot about things he had allegedly done or had a hand in, but not how he responded to it all. Brian released an apology that I couldn't really find. I found a record of it and it can be seen and heard in full in a video by Beyond Art TV. He released an apology for MDE 2.0. Early the next year in 2017, he made a video coming out, which could have been seen as odd timing to mention it so many years into your YouTube career and conveniently shortly after a major controversy. But I would like to think that wasn't the case. Brian never really recovered and the reason I'm speaking about him in past tense is because his last upload was in late 2017. And for some reason the comments are turned off and the likes are also not shown. Oddly enough, his Instagram comments are also turned off. I think the latest news on Brian was from Johnny Gilbert, a former MDE member who I've mentioned previously, who made a video last year in 2022. In the video, Johnny alleges Brian was still harassing him and some of his friends. Interestingly, Johnny actually mentions that Brian would take 20% of everyone's earnings on my digital escape, which is interesting context. I guess Brian being on C-SPAN in 2008 for winning third prize in student camp 2008 isn't as glamorous as it seemed. Earlier this year I made a video about Johnny, but in short he's still around and still making content regularly even. And so are Hey There I'm Shannon and Luke Whale, formerly Jaden, kind of uploading with four videos this year. Kyle David Hall still has his channel online but hasn't uploaded for many years. Jordan Sweeto is currently on hiatus as of last year and, and oddly enough Alice Lorraine is the only one from 7 of 7 week to delete her channel entirely. She removed every video earlier this year, changed her channel name to Zella Sims which spells Miss Alex and soon after she deleted her channel entirely. This has been the rise and fall of my digital escape. Thanks for watching.